Hi, well, it's Jennifer again, and this is my second recording. I'm all kinds of grungy right now, because, well, I just finished the exercises, and I thought I was going to get all nice and dressed up, but I thought I'd catch it while I still had this good voice going, because I did, I, I exercise and I watch Bleach, you know, animes, with, um, you know, subtitles, and I found that's incredibly useful because I get my voice up to somewhere where, close to where I'm trying to head. And that, it's nice to be able to read out loud. Plus, you know, I'm starting to get a little hand of how to pronounce it. Or so, like, Ichigo, I don't know why I can say, you know, Ichigo, Reyuka san, just catching those accents, which is kind of neat. I can't speak it at all, but I can pretend I have an accent. Yippee. Well, um, let's see what else has been going on. Oh, new polish. Ooh, copy. Uh, oh, here, let me introduce someone. This is Jack. Jack has, this is Jack Eyes. I told you about him last time. He has huge eyes, and he has the loudest purr, and he has multiple thumbs. And he tolerates a lot. He's, he's just so tiny. He's so itty bitty. As you can see, I've got tattoos and I've got plants. Right now, I don't have much in the way of desks. And for, you know, so I do a lot of crouching. And I end up looking a lot like a boy when I do that because, you know, genetic shoulders. Uh, what else can I tell you? Well, I wanted to tell you know, I figure I'm going to make this a short one because I just wanted to catch up on how quickly mood swings have gone. Earlier today, I was very, very sad. And that happens a lot with me because of uh, bipolar, which just sucks. And the hormones have an effect on this that I never expected. They cause, I'm much more in control of who I am. You know, I've heard many things about calmness, which, yeah, has happened, and about how you change, how your feelings change, your emotions. That's, it's hard, it's so hard to describe accurately unless you're going through it. You, at least for some, you know, I mean, for trans women, obviously, it's different, different from, say, a trans man, but... Your, the missing pieces of your brain slide into place. So you find yourself being happier just because you're, you, you're complete. There's, and I think when you have bipolar or problems like that, and you have a female brain and a male body like I do, you're, the chemicals that you're missing heal you when you have them. So I, I find myself coming back to, my, to myself. And that's an amazing thing. It's just, just, there was someone I, someone I knew was here, and now she is. Uh, so, there's not much more to say on this one. I just wanted to catch this because I, of this, sh this huge changes with that, going through that. And just to get practice in on this and remind myself that I'm still working on the voice, but I should be proud of that. Over time, I'm sure I'll be more interesting. So I understand if you run off and wait seven or eight updates. You know, get through the drama. Maybe next time I'll talk about my what's my insane family, or how I feel about the city. The city I'm in Cleveland. What the hell am I doing in Cleveland? It is officially the well, you know, officially the most miserable city in the U.S. right now. Yay! Uh, but oh, there was one other thing. I had a great moment. You know, I am MD. It made it made my and what made my day today was, you know, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get to places with the, bu with the bus. 
and suddenly this girl overhears the conversation excuse me beer stein but sadly we'll work on that anyways she amazingly just hands over a a week pass on the bus I'm gonna be able to get for a week anywhere I need to go and that's gonna make a real difference I mean travel is tough and it's so nice to be able to travel squeeze yeah you're gonna see this a lot too um so I guess that's about it it's actually longer than I expected it to be I mean I could stretch it out with long boring things but right now I won't so next time you see me I promise to try to be slightly less grungy I'll have better razors so just ignore this that I'm showing you and forcing you to look at right now we got your mistake because that just boys me out but you know at least you'll have something to compare to later when you never guess that I was ever living in a genetic boy body. All right. I uh, love you all. Blessed be. And thanks for watching. Bye.